All right, all right, all right. What it do, world? It's your boy Superstar Fresh here with another sneaker unboxing. And this is a special sneaker unboxing. As y'all can see, I am outside again. Hopefully, that wind is not too bad. Compromising the audio, as you can see in the trees, man. It is windy out here today. But yeah, look at that box. Oh, man. Before we get into the box, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I got on feet. Today I got on something special. The Nike SB Air Force 2 Low. This is the Tupac version, which is one of my favorite shoes. Uh, they came out with a Tupac and a Biggie pack. I was a Tupac fan as a kid. My wife, a staunch Biggie fan as a kid. So I got her a pair of the Biggie denim SB Lows while I got the Air Force 2 Tupacs had to grab these i'm obsessed with denim sneakers i have a lot in my collection and when these dropped i had to get them so yes i love these shoes they are fire if you can find a pair get them because in hand they are absolutely crazy it's a nike sb air force 2 low this is the tupac version boy mm such a pretty pretty dope shoe but yeah let's go ahead and get into this sneaker i'm gonna preface this and say shout out to my man troy because this is actually his sneaker he thought of me when he actually hit on the raffle and said hey do you want to go ahead and cover this sneaker on your channel i was like hell yeah because one it's a dope sneaker i wasn't necessarily looking for it myself but I don't have one of these in my collection, so I thought it would be dope to cover this, even though this isn't my shoe. So, salute to my guy, Troy, and believe it or not, once I saw these in hand, I was like, this is a dope shoe. I see why it costs as much as it does, but I also understand the hype behind it because it is, I'm telling you, it's a dope shoe. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. Ah, this big old box. For one, this box is heavy as hell. But yeah, as you can see, a size 12. My man Troy got big feet like I do. So, you know, I sympathize with him. Catching shoes, man. Catching shoes. Well, good thing is 12s are a little bit more common than 13s and 14s. But still, they make it less big sizes. But yeah, uh, Nike Air, Fear of God 1, size 12. Retail. 350 of them things but i'm telling you this sneaker is definitely worth it let me go ahead and open this big fucking box <laughs> i'm trying to do it. oh shit oh. all right there we go uh this is super duper unprofessional because this box is so fucking massive i had to use both of my hands ah uh, and look at man let me oh, put this back here don't want to lose that but yeah let's go ahead and open these and this shoe comes with a fucking bag which is insane it's a dope dope bag that says air fear of god and it actually has a nike swoosh embedded back there and this this bag is definitely a good quality bag bro like it's so thick so it's not just like a Fimsley bag that just came with a pair of shoes, bro. I'm telling you, the shoe is super nice. And it's actually got some pack-ins for like the lace locks and everything. That's what's in this bag. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and sit this over here. We're gonna get into the lace locks later. But as you can see, it is super, super duper windy out here. So let's go ahead and get into the shoes. These shoes are so nice, they fucking came in like Ten for you, like this is. <laughs> I've never seen a Nike shoe like package like this, which is which is insane. But I'm just gonna pull one shoe out. Uh, I'll pull this one out since it's facing this way. So yeah, let's go ahead and pull this Fear God one out of its packaging, so you guys can see this amazing shoe. Let me see this guy over here. Close you because the paper's blowing everywhere. So yeah, let's go around this thing. And bam! The Air Fear God 1 Triple Black. 
And obviously my boy Troy was hunting for these. He was on that drop because he notified me that he got them and I actually did not pay attention to the drop, which is crazy because I'm usually the one in our group always on a drop. But this guy came through, got picked and lucked up really i'll be honest he lucked up this is a shoe that i could not pull off which is why i purposely did not go for this sneaker but i have to say it is a dope sneaker and i with with this being in hand i understand the hype behind it because one i mean it's a high end it's a fair god sneaker and secondly it's just a cool clean design and the materials on this i wish you guys could smell it the materials on this is a one man i have to say it's definitely worth every dollar that 350 is definitely worth it man this shoe has suede on the toe as you can see look at that that's high quality suede if you can actually pull that off and the top and upper is mostly mesh but it's super thick so you can see in the beat in the boot the top of the boot like how thick this is it's crazy and the inside is like this 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 felt that feels so good i wouldn't be surprised if this honestly was like suede or new bucking inside and the rest of it is basically neoprene which is what this cage is and i actually really love the lacing system on this and i really mess with this rubber sole which is dope and this small subtle see-through panel at the bottom with the cushion in it oh my god bro i have got to say for this to be like a black shoe in hand you you see all of the cool details like the nike air on the back i mean from far away you might not be able to see that but as a sneaker collector it's got a whole bunch of dope shit on it that i feel like if you are into sneakers you would really 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 find a whole bunch of cool shit associated with this and also you know i like a little oddities like the zipper on the back and this is another reason why i really wasn't that happy about the shoe because it's got a zipper on the back and i have really really big feet and wide ankles bro and i'll be honest with you this will probably be a nightmare for me to put on especially you know since i wear my sneakers so often so yeah it's just one that i passed on but I'm glad my man Troy said, hey, guess what, dude? Go ahead before I stick my feet in these and wear these. Because Troy wears his kicks. He said, yeah, go ahead and make a video on these. And I have to say, this is definitely a dope shoe. I may go on the resale market and try to find the orange or the green pair. Because I'm not going to lie, this is a quality fucking sneaker. And it's super dope. So shout out to my man Troy for letting me go ahead and hold this pair a fair god ones because i know he's itching to wear these things and they smell oh man they smell amazing <laughs> whatever they're made out of they smell fucking phenomenal but yeah nike air fair god ones if you can get your hands on a pair i say get your hands on a pair this is a nice classy shoe and if you are into like muted colors this triple black pair is fucking fantastic i i literally was on StockX before i came out looking at all of the colors that came out and a lot of them are too neutral for my palette, but definitely the orange and greens stuck out to me. The yellows are way too expensive for me, so I'm definitely not going to try to get me a yellow pair. But those orange and those green pair, I might have one before 2020 is out. So yeah, Fear God one, Nike Air, dope shoe. Shout out to my boy Troy. Again, you guys protect yourselves out here with this COVID shit. Looks like we're almost at the end of it, hopefully. But, you know, if not, still, man, social distance, wear your mask, clean your gloves, because I just recently lost my aunt to COVID-19. One of my best friends, his father passed, and as much as everybody wants to believe the conspiracy theories of people, you know, trying to be, uh, you know, the government conspiracy theories about, you know, them just trying to keep us locked down and all this stuff. Regardless of what you think, I'm not here to argue that, but that disease is fucking real, bro. And again... I lost my aunt Gwen. Rest in peace to her. Um, Got to go to her funeral, which is a weird ordeal, mainly because it's like a virtual funeral, which is all types of fucked up, if you ask me. But you got to do what you got to do. Just protect yourselves, man. Wear your mask. Get your sanitizer where you can. Clean your hands and just look out for yourself and tell everybody that you you really fuck with heavy. You love a man. And again, sorry with the, you know to end on such a somber note, but 
you know, it's important. So, yeah, Nike Air, Fair God Ones. You guys go ahead and grab them. Stay safe out here. Y'all have a good one. Oh, boy.